Well, hey friends, it's me, Kyle. I'm on my back deck uh, on this beautiful day. The birds are singing. Of course, my neighbor just decided to mow his lawn uh, as I sat down to film this. And, and so uh, just breathing in the, the beauty of God's creation. I'm wearing my Monday shirt uh, to remind me what day it is. New week, new mercies. And I'm just grateful for another day. Um, as this pandemic continues to roll on, uh, we are prayerfully considering what reopening the campuses looks like, what our next steps are uh, as a church and a community. Uh, and so we want you to put July 10th on your calendar. Uh, that's a Friday night and that'll be our first event back. We'll have more information about that in the next couple of days. But we want you to know we're excited uh, to be back together and to move towards whatever a new normal might look like. Uh, in the meantime, though, we want to make sure that we stay connected to God, to the scriptures, to each other. And so uh, with that idea in mind, we are uh, starting a new online Bible study this week and we'll start it every Monday. So on Sunday or Monday, you can head to the website, southpointforyou.com slash connected. And that's gonna push you over uh, to the Bible app, either on your phone, your computer, your tablet, whatever device you use. And um, it, it'll take you to our weekly Bible study. And you know what? If you can see this on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, no worries, just jump right in wherever we are. Uh, again, by heading to southpointview.com slash connected. And again, we, we chose this idea of connected because we want to stay connected to God, to the scriptures, and to each other. And so uh, what the Bible study looks like, it might be intimidating for you to think about uh, joining a Bible study, but it's just about five minutes a day. And um, every every day as you open the Bible app, you'll, you'll have a, a commentary, a devotional thought for just two to three minutes a day. Uh, for, for you to consider. And then we're gonna read from the scriptures. Again, sometimes maybe just one or two verses, sometimes maybe a little bit more. Um, but the idea would be that in just a few, three to five minutes a day, uh, we'd be able to connect to scripture uh, and to, to God's heart uh, for us and for the world. And so uh, after that though, not most importantly, but also importantly, uh, there's a place for us to have a conversation. And so in the Bible app, there's a section called uh, Talk About It or Talk It Over and then also on Facebook. And we'll have uh, open discussion in both places, wherever you're more comfortable. And uh, talk about, you know, what are we what are we hearing through the devotional series? Uh, what do we feel like God is, is saying to us? And so I wanna encourage you to go and sign up for that uh, in the link below. Uh, the first study that we're gonna do is Bob Goff's Live in Grace, Walk in Love. And I chose this study because, you know, it's a really difficult season for our nation. Uh, obviously the pandemic, uh, continues to rage on. Uh, racial tensions have been so high as we consider uh, the racial inequalities and what racial reconciliation looks like for our nation. Uh, and so, um, and then add to that all just the personal pressures that, that each of us uh, are probably walking through. And so I thought it would be great for us to, to just center ourselves uh, on this idea uh, that uh, when, we, when we have grace, when we understand God's grace for us, uh, when we understand God's grace for other people, it will help us to see as God sees. And I love this saying that I heard that when we see as God sees, we will do as God says. Uh, and so sometimes we just need to be reminded uh, about the goodness of God. And so uh, this study, Live in Grace, Walk in Love, every day will feature a few minutes of commentary from Bob, Bob Goff, uh, a scripture, and then a chance for us to talk it over. Um, the, one of the, the days, I think it's day two, and the reason I chose this study is that uh, the title of, of the devotional for the day is there's a lot to be concerned about, but there's even more to hope for. Uh, and I just want us to, to be encouraged that, that, yes, this is a hard time and a difficult time. Um, and, and, and tension isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes you have to walk through tension to get to a healthier place. Um, but in the middle of that hard time, there's a lot to be concerned about, but there's even more to be hopeful about. Um, that God still sits on the throne, that God is... Uh, in charge that he's never failed us yet. And so uh, it reminded me of the scripture from Romans 15 that says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with trust. I'm sorry, you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so again, as we uh, put our hope and our faith in God, that the spirit of God that, that lives in us uh, wakes us up to serve the people around us. And so uh, I would love again for you to join us in this online Bible study this week. Again, just three to five minutes of your day. And I think it will change your outlook and help you take uh, a step towards Jesus. Hope to see you there, southpointview.com slash connected. Take care.